oh, when my brother and I, you know, received the call that we were going to be inducted into the Hall of Fame, I mean, it's, it's one of those things you don't set out to do, you know, as a kid, that you want to be in the Hall of Fames and, and have that type of career. You, those are just dreams. You're, you're too busy trying to get better. You're too busy running and sprinting and, and lifting and, and playing and traveling the miles. But when it comes at the end of, you know, of, of a long career, junior career, a collegiate career, and a pro career, it's overwhelming. Being inducted with my brother, it's a family sport, you know, and I think about my brother, I think about my hero, I think about my best friend, and I also think about my whole family. Mom, Dad, Rachel, Rebecca, we were traveling state by state, tournament by tournament, by tournament um, but winning the French and having the career with a brother, um, like Luke in particular, who is the greatest role model a human being could have, um, to do this with him is a dream come true. It truly is because the, the rankings that you had to climb and the, the people that you had, you had to get through, and you look at the, the people that are in the Hall of Fame now, um, from the Todd Martins, the Victor Amayas, the legendary players that have succeeded through this section, you've got to be a baller. And to me, it's, it's an unbelievable honor, not just for Murphy and I, I look at it as a family honor because my sisters played the Grand Slam level and my parents just insisted that this was going to be a sport that we all played. And you talk about a sport for a lifetime, but it's a sport for a family and it was for us. Well, we have an unbelievable, we have the greatest celebration in Grand Slam history. A lot of people like Bjorn Borg would go to his knees, Pat Cash goes up into the crowd and you know, Roger Federer like lays on the ground or Rafa rolls around in the clay. And I said, well, if we win, we're really into big time wrestling. I know it's a shocker to everybody, but I said, I'll, I'll body slam Murphy on the court. Like it will be the greatest celebration of all time. Two points before winning the French. I'm serving for it. I don't think I've lost my serve in two weeks. And I say to my brother, whatever you do, don't hurt me. That flashed in my head that he was going to go Hulk Hogan on me and pin me to the ground of the red clay and make my outfit all dirty. And he says, what are you talking about, man? We haven't won anything yet. And then I proceed to double fault twice, get really tight, and I'm facing break point down. I hit the best shot of my life. And then we eventually win. Arms go up. We go to hug each other. And he embraces me and clips me with his elbow, cracks my jaw. I broke his jaw at the French Open. So as we're walking up to the net, he's, he can't feel his face, it's all numb. I think he may have had a concussion because he was like all over the place, but he could use a lot of colorful language pointed at me. And if you see any doubles championship in the history of tennis, you'll see there's one guy holding one side of the trophy and the partner holding the other side of the trophy. And it's a very happy moment. But no, you won't find a picture where it's that. It's Murphy holding the trophy up like he just won it all by himself. And I got to touch the trophy with three fingers. I'm reaching up, uh, I can barely touch the trophy. And that was my French Open experience. I think tennis will always be part of my life um, because it's a family sport. You know, I think um, beyond the tennis with my family, uh, my immediate family, my son Billy and I played the father-son nationals a couple times and that was as cool as winning the French Open. To be able to be with a 15, 16, 17, 18 year old son and to share um, the game with them and uh, hopefully I'll play until my last shot, my last breath.